Okay, my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion and the great Mikey UPS. He has been on my channel, well, many times that I've come to New York. And today we are gonna vlog in Staten Island, New York, Mikey's town, and I thought, hey, let's do one of my all-time favorite movies, Easy Money with Rodney Dangerfield and Joe Pesci. He knows where all the locations are, so let's go see him. Days with Jordan the Lion and Mikey UPS begins right now. And of course, coming along for the ride to help out with the vlogs, this guy. Oh. All right, so we're over here on Highland Boulevard. This is the beginning of the movie, the opening shot of the movie when the camera is scrolling across and we see these houses. The way Mike and I were able to match it up was that like on this one, you can see that that, that window, that little circular window is still there in the shot and right here even though the house looks different they've done a makeover the little circular window up there matches and the door and everything matches so they put a new face on it but this is where monty comes to do the kid's birthday party he's a baby photographer so he comes here and they're having a kid's party the little girl's crying because the Little boy she likes isn't treating her nice and Monty's saying, what do you want with him? He's not good enough. He's not your class. He's got food all over his face. He needs his mommy. <laughs> and it's funny, he's taking this picture of it and he's like, so how old are you? And she goes like this, showing like the five. Well, call me when you're this, okay? <laughs> all right, here we go. Now you got it straight, okay? Great scene. Good eyes for Mikey on that one because I originally thought it was on the opposite side of the street. The address that I found online was for the opposite side of the street and some of the houses look similar, but it wasn't until I saw those circular windows and I was like, Mike, you're right. I'm from over here. I'm not from over there, I'm from over here. So you're always right. You're right. All right, we have made it over to the Capuletti residence. It looks way different. And I noticed online, it has all kinds of varied addresses. Some people put that this was the house. Some people have it as this house, that address. But nope, I have looked as thoroughly as you can and it's this one. The way we know is because there's double doors, like a sliding glass doors right there and over here. They're not on this house. So that matched up. Also, when Monty's coming out of the house, coming down the stairs, that color of brick is the, this house is the only one that has that color of brick. So when he lived here in the movie, they would have green awnings. That would have been the, there would have been a garage there. Now they have two doors. But what I'm happy or excited to see is how different this looks. <laughs> You know, this is the gag in the movie where he never has fixed the bricks in the steps or in the front walk. So when he has the wedding here, the people that are coming in trip over it. Why didn't he fix the walk? It's been this way for months. And eventually, later on in the movie, when Julio comes to get his wife, Monty's coming down the stairs. He's like, I came for my wife, Capuletti. He's like, I got enough problems. I don't want to deal with you. And he trips over, falls over the bricks and everything in the steps, and then falls over Julio, and Julio shoots him in the gluteus maximus. Put that thing away. You'll hurt yourself, will you? Look, I'm in no mood for you. In fact, there is no mood for you. Oh! I say that because that's what they say in the hospital. They say, so you're shot in the gluteus maximus. He goes, ah, oh, you're wrong. He got me in the ass. <laughs> but this is great because this is where the wedding takes place. This is where uh, he's always rushing out to get away from his uh, mother-in-law or just anything that's going on. But the wedding party is coming up and down these stairs. And then there's that awesome scene where he's out here with his daughter and they're taking the trash out. And uh, it's like it basically takes place like right here where they run into their new neighbor. <laughs> and Monty in the backyard had already ran into the wife, but right here they run into the guy and he's saying that he, uh, 
his wife is a showgirl and that they got married recently and not here not here hi there i'm your new neighbor bill jones you can call me bill and say hi to king hey king not here not here why don't you take him on your property look i'm your next door neighbor now you know so we got to get to be uh, good buddies you know i want to have a relationship most important thing for us we got to have a good report <laughs> wait till you meet ginger she's my better half if i already saw your better half in fact i saw more than half they're new in the area then he tries to offer monty some drugs <laughs> he's like what are you doing offering me drugs in front of my daughter? He goes, oh, if you got a connection in the family, you know, stick with it. But just this time, let me be Santa Claus. And he hands him a couple of joints. <laughs> so they, he puts them in the trash and they put the trash right here. They would have also had that really unique uh, mailbox that said Capuletti on it. So it all looks way different, similar but different. Different enough to where I really had to take a double take and like go, well, let's look at some of the details to this, see if it matches up. So we know for sure it does. He's trying on the wedding dress in here and everything, but then of course, Julio comes to get his wife back and that's supposed to take place in this alley where they're supposedly throwing the stones up there and everything <laughs> through that window. But then of course also the backyard is where the wedding reception takes place. So of course just a massive party taking place back there and Monty's out there singing Feliculi Felicula get the guy up here that paid for this shindig <laughs> so that's the house man I love seeing this kind of stuff so I'm so happy to be here and see all the perspectives and everything we get a little bit of a shot right with at the end of the wedding ceremony when Julio and Allison are taken off their car is actually parked out here and it's all decorated for uh for the wedding and everything and they take off from here This is definitely when Julio came to get his wife and he wanted to speak to Allison. Yeah. Allison, I want to talk to you. Look, yep, right there. Is that Julio? Yeah. Come down. I'm the man. Right there. But there used to be a bush over here where, he, where Julio was talking to. He says, Allison, I want you to meet the bush. <laughs> yeah. Like you mean it. Allison. I'm bad. They climb in the window too. Remember they sneak in? He's like, are you sure this is the right window? Awesome. Well, since we've seen the house and we're talking about the wedding and everything that takes place here, why don't we go see where the wedding took place? So here we've made it over to the church. It's where Allison and Julio get married. You got some aspirin? Fortunately, we couldn't get in. We tried all the doors. All the doors are closed up, but inside here, one of the first things we see is Monty taking some pills to settle his nerves and he does, washes it down with the holy water. <laughs> oh no. I'm sorry, it was an emergency. His friends next to him is like, oh God. Then they go walking in the whole ceremony. Julio's mom's in there just moaning and wailing and crying the whole time. <laughs> Covenant of marriage. <laughs> Love her, comfort her, honor. But then we see it after the ceremony because we get a shot kind of like of this with everyone coming out and we see. When is, when is your father? He's directing traffic. Hey, let's go get out of here. At the time they had these kind of like a red wooden fence over here. But we see Monty out here directing traffic. Hey, you come on, close me. Come on, close me. Hey, come on. Because there's, there's been an accident right here. Monty's right here in the middle of the road. He's trying to get cars going out this way. And then there's a funeral coming this way. He's like, hey, hold on. Come on. He ain't going nowhere, you know? <laughs> What's happening here? Hey, we got to get out of here. Hey, hold it. We are hold it. I mean, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Kind of cool to see where this scene was. It's a very short scene, but this was the church that Allison gets married. 
Nikki, we gotta get the cake, the cake, the wedding cake. We gotta get the cake, come on. So our next filming location is the world famous Alfonso's Pastry Shop. This is the wedding cake scene. <laughs> they bring Nikki's, Nikki's truck, his van, and it's right there. And they come walking out these doors with Allison's wedding cake. Right away you'll notice this awning was not here at the time. There was nothing above it. So when they come walking out with a cake, this will be their point of view, Rodney and Joe Pesci's point of view, pushing the doors open. So they come right out, this is the shot we get. Mike is carrying his cannolis instead of the wedding cake. <laughs> but they come walking towards us this way. And one of the funniest parts of the entire movie, it cuts right here. As they get here, there's two women coming towards them and they, they bump them over. <laughs> Joe Pesci knocks one lady over this set of bushes. Monty knocks one over that side of the bushes. They come walking out here. You see these businesses. I think Risk was actually there then. Bombos wasn't. But we see them come walking right out here. And they open up the back of the van, put the cake in there. Wedge it in between the toilet. It's not gonna slide around in there, is it? No, oh, I gotta wedge against the toilet. Now, there's another filming location. Nobody online has, but it was actually right over here. It's called the Odyssey Lounge. I found online, it was one of these buildings, and all the scenes that you see them inside the bar drinking, that those were all taken at the that was all filmed at the Odyssey Lounge. Mike is great. My favorite system, a lock. And I got Monty in the truck with a wedding cake. I gotta pick up my mother, take it to the beauty parlor. What I think right is, down. yeah, right, right there on the corner is what I think where yeah. that taller building yeah. is. Because like I found a woman talking about how her husband worked there during the filming. He worked for the bar and she was invited to watch some of the filming and said everyone in the scenes were really nice and they filmed all night to get those shots. So that would have been where those ha happened. In the movie, they have a sign that says Skangeli, but they don't have Skangeli here. <laughs> Look, as soon as you walk inside, though, they have a picture right here <laughs> of that scene being filmed. Joe Pesci and Rodney Dangerfield walking out. As a fan of this movie, getting to see where the wedding cake scene happened, <laughs> that is just epic for me. I love it. I can't believe we saw this. It's not a wedding cake, but I had to patronize the place while we were here. So when Nikki and Monty are out driving around, looking for something to eat, some place to be open. They're actually driving down this road at night. Nikki's driving all over the freaking road, driving crazy. One side, the other side, one side, get over here. Get over here, keep to the right. Get your head off the way. And then Monty says, Nikki, stop it. And he ends up stopping right here, right in the center of this intersection. And the way I found it was because they show a brief shot of this building over here. At the time it was yellow and it had like a bowling, like a bowling ball hitting some pins over here. And so I started looking up this intersection, found out there was a place called Naughty Pines that was Naughty Pines Lanes that was right there. It was a bowling alley. And then when I found that in the shot when they're car is spinning around with the cake in back because they're going out of control. You see over here, there used to be a mobile station. And when I went on Google Maps, I was able to look about seven years ago and the mobile station was still there. So I know this is exactly it. So when Monty goes, Nikki drive and they take off and they're spinning around everything. Where they crash with a cake is actually right over there. Oh, 
So at the time when they're filming this, there are actually cars parked out here out front and they fly into the parking space that's over there. So we'll show where they, where they would have driven in. Now Harbor Freight, but definitely not the same building. They did put a whole new building here. My friend Mikey said it also used to be Western Beef. <laughs> So when they crashed, they actually crashed pretty much where this sign is over here. And right before they crashed, like I said, there was a, a big kind of banner that they had up there that had like so a ball going into some bowling pins. And that's how I was able to figure out that it had to be a bowling alley. So they crashed right up here. They stopped right before they hit the wall. So our next location actually takes us off of Staten Island and takes us into New Jersey. We've made it to Clifton, New Jersey and our filming location for the wedding night was at this Howard Johnson. Honestly, it's crazy to even see it exist. So here's the Howard Johnson that Julio and Allison spend their wedding night while Monty and all the wedding party are still hooping it up and partying back at his house. Allison and Julio come here because Julio's been waiting a long time to consummate this. <laughs> he had to marry her first, so we see his car parked right here. And this up here actually used to be a window back then. But this is when they check into room 619, get escorted to their room by a bellhop, which is kind of surprising to think about. That's when Julio tries to make his move and Allison says, I keep hearing my father say don't. He says, he meant before you were married. She said, I'm not so sure. Then Monty calls and Julio hangs up on him. He wants to wish her a good night and everything. And then Allison gets mad because he hung up on her dad and basically decides to call it a night and ends the night. So from then on in the movie, we see Julio trying to win her back. The funny part about this is that, you know, from this scene, she's very prudish and everything and she's afraid, but later on, she's basically a nympho by the end of the movie. This also has one of my favorite, most classic scenes in the movie when Julio tries to guilt her into sleeping with him and says, you know, Allison, my cousin had a friend that didn't consummate the marriage and he died. Allison, I don't want to die. Unbelievable. So now we are going to Monahan's department store in Brooklyn. Quite a drive. So at the time, Monahan's was actually Abraham and Strauss, which is now the Macy's. Here they have a store plaque for Abraham and Strauss. So when Mrs. Monahan steps out of her car, we can tell exactly where it is. She walks right through here because there's a metal grate there and a metal grate here that you don't see in the shot. So she actually is walking very slowly across here. And then it pans up to show these exact doors. And then Monahans would have had their Monahan sign right there. And she goes in the doors. It's the Fulton Street entrance. They've changed it just a little bit, you can tell. Some joy, huh? They still have the revolving doors, and this is the one that Nikki and Monty walk in, where they're harassing the security guards, <laughs> making fun of them. Yeah, this is all, looks different, but at least the uh, revolving doors are here. The mother-in-law and Clive walking through here. You can see the outline of all this. They're walking towards us. And you can see the escalator is right here. So it would have been like a, a counter going this way. Oh, can somebody help us here? I don't think so. That they run into the guy that looks like the manic and the bald guy <laughs> when they're looking around this place. That's a really funny scene. <laughs> Why don't you two put your heads together and make an ass out of yourselves, huh? 
All right, my friends, that is gonna do it for us today. I wanna thank Rhea for becoming my newest Patreon. Thank you all for watching Easy Money with me or seeing the sights with me today. Have a great night and goodbye. Figured we'd end it the way that the movie ends with a little bit of pizza.